After their breakup, a Taiwanese man relentlessly stalked his Singapore-based former girlfriend from July to August, and on one occasion even used a taser to stun her neck area. The 30-year-old unemployed man was sentenced to two months and six weeks jail on Wednesday after he pleaded guilty to one count each of stalking the Taiwanese woman as well as assaulting and using criminal force on her. He is not named due to a gag order to protect his former girlfriend's identity. The couple had earlier met in Taiwan and started their relationship in July 2021. In February 2023, the woman relocated to Singapore after finding a job here, and the man would regularly visit her. The couple broke up in June and he tried to contact her multiple times soon after. He also made several trips from Taiwan to Singapore to meet and speak to her in person. He would turn up unannounced near her home and workplace. On July 5, the woman received a text message from him saying that he was waiting for her near her home. Deputy Public Prosecutor Janice C. said, in response to the victim's skepticism that he was in Singapore, the accused replied by accurately describing the victim's attire that day and proceeded to wait outside the training center of her place of employment where he met the victim. Feeling fearful for her safety, the woman applied for a personal protection order PPO in Taiwan on July 22. Seven days later, the man went to a ground floor lobby at the woman's block of flats and confronted her when she turned up at around 11 p.m. She agreed to meet him the next day. He went to the lobby again on July 31st and waited for his former girlfriend to return home. DPPC told the court, upon seeing the victim enter the lobby with some friends, the accused approached her and asked if they could talk. This caused the victim to feel harassed and threatened, and she asked her friends to call for police assistance on her behalf. As the victim felt fearful for her safety, her friends offered to accompany her up to her residence. Shortly after this incident, the man created a group chat, which included the victim and her friends, and sent them threatening messages. He also messaged the victim privately, demanding that she apologize to him for asking her friends to alert the police. The PPO was approved on August 1st, but it failed to deter the man for contacting his former girlfriend. Five days later, he went to the woman's block of flats and approached her when she arrived at the lift lobby at around 11 p.m. He put an arm around her neck to prevent her from entering the lift, and she fell when she tried to free herself. The man then used a taser to stun the woman. Court documents did not disclose how he managed to obtain the device. When the woman used her mobile phone to contact her roommates for help, the man tried to snatch the phone away but backed off when she agreed to talk to him. Four of her roommates turned up soon after and she related to them what had happened. The man then tried to flee, but the roommates detained him and alerted the police. About two hours later, the victim went to Changi General Hospital, where she was found to have suffered injuries, including abrasions on her limbs and redness on her neck.